Hey, this is Labor Coolman. I'm just uh, gonna make a video today, or uh, pretty much, um, not, I can guess you can say vlogging, vlogging, video vlogging. <laughs> I'm just gonna make uh, videos, or uh, vlogs now. I'm still gonna make my screen capture videos, and uh, it's gonna start a topic on uh, it's really popular lately, or I guess you can say I've been, I saw this a video on Chris Perillo, uh, or the Locker Dome, some might know him as. Uh, I'm a member of his site and his forums and you know all his this great site and they were talking about one time what browser do you use and uh, I've already made a video on what I used Internet Explorer 7 and Firefox but back then I didn't go much into detail with the video and I just wanna maybe uh, go a little bit more detail on excuse me the video and uh, part two and probably part three and uh, in fact and I'm just gonna go over today uh, a video, uh, excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna go over the main, uh, things, like, uh, the main, uh, browsers people use, uh, br uh, Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and the new versions that they're coming out with and what they have in store. First of all, let's get kicked off with Firefox, because, uh, it's one of the best, uh, f one of the free browsers out there you can get, and with this new Beta 3 version, uh, it's a great, great, uh, Looks like it's making its comeback, but Internet Explorer did make a bounce, uh, stay in that number one spot with, uh, Internet Explorer 7. Great comeback from 6, but, uh, Firefox is, ca it's catching up. It's gonna, it's gonna make it soon a bit, and Microsoft has gotta do something, you know, like, if you read my blogs on WordPress, uh, sorry about that, but if you read my blogs, you can, uh, see how I talked about what Firefox, uh, gives that, you know, when it, Internet Explorer doesn't give, and you know, f of course, Firefox gives you great uh, control over your browser, and that's what everybody wants, you know. I'm oh, sorry about that, just tossing this around, but it's what you know gives the people what they want, gives you, um, you know, complete control over your browser, customizability, add ons, and all that stuff, you know. So it gives you what you need, and what you want to use in your uh, sorry, hang on, I'm trying to sit up because my camera's not at the best angle right now. But gives you what you want to, you know, what people want on their browser. And uh, of course, people want the control. And I say, sorry, I have to keep on saying this. But you know, add ons, you have add ons, you have. Tab Mixer Plus, you have, you know, you have the ability to get the YouTube video straight from the source or get the link source. And, you know, Internet Explorer doesn't give you many features. It's more, not business or I guess you can say business oriented because it is, but it's a main, it's a logo name, so it's a corporate, it's a brand name out there. So I guess they didn't, you know, you know, when they made Windows 1 and, you know, uh, Firefox wasn't really there. Mozilla was there, but it was, uh, Mirror, maybe. Back then, you know, there's Netscape, there was SeaMonkey, but basically what Firefox is today. But, you know, back then, Internet Explorer came out with, uh, you know, its first one, and it came out with just, like, people, its first look was just, oh, sorry about that. Ah, just wanted what people wanted on their browser, you know, at first. They just wanted great search, you know, and then out came Firefox, like, like, I don't know, a lot, lot, maybe around Internet 5 and Explorer 6 and 5, but Firefox was great, you know, Mozilla really got what they wanted out of their browser, people got what they wanted, and Internet Explorer 7, now moving on to that, when it came out, it's a great speed, it has the tabs, it has, but the thing is, when it came out, it only tried to focus on what people wanted on what they were aiming for on Firefox and the top downloads like Tab Mixer Plus is what they have on Internet Explorer now, and I think they added three of the most top rated ones on Firefox. But see, that's not what we want. We want more customizability over our browser. Internet Explorer 7 gives us somewhat that, but you know, we, it has a security. But Firefox is just working on patches like that. But you see, Internet Explorer needs to give us a little bit. Not, I guess you can't say freedom because it's a brand name and. They want to keep us in our limits because they're, you know, their browser. But they should give us more add-on stuff we can add on personally and edit ourselves, or we can make, you know, so we don't have to, you know, go into the system or use 
you know, we should be able to have extra settings there, you know, easier for us to make it, get YouTube videos, they should, like, get what, uh, really what we want, so, yeah. And other browsers, Safari, Safari's great, you know, if you use Safari on the Mac, or you just use Safari, Safari's a great browser, I, I haven't really tried it, I've tried it a couple, like, once or twice on my, one of my sister's, uh, Macs, but, uh, you know, it's not, it's okay, it's a great browser, and it's, Mac gives all those great things for its, specifically for its, uh, you know, for the Mac or the iMac, you know. Safari is great if you use it, you know, if you have a Mac, you option, uh, obviously use it, and if you want to get, you know, Firefox for that Mac too, it's pretty good, but I would probably suggest getting Firefox or Safari if you have the Mac. I, d I even though I do use Internet Explorer, it probably would work best on the Mac as if Firefox would, and Firefox is small. Now, if you're running slow on minimum space, you're probably going to use Opera, the Opera browser, and it's really small, it's for s good for small, uh, you know, it's good for small, uh, if you have small minimum space and you need an internet browser. It It's a good browser for for its small size, you know, it can get you good speed, you know, and some add-ons, I guess there is, but, uh, you know, Opera is a good browser if you use it. I guess you'd stick to it, you know, if you want to have a small browser, so, you know, don't want to use up much space, which is good for you because you have more space on your, uh, your spa disk space, your C disk or your local C disk, uh, and that's good. And going in more, but if you still use Netscape, uh, I don't know why. It's, it's from the get go, like they were talking about it on Chris Perillo, it wasn't great at all, you know. They, it, it, you know, something you can use, but after Firefox came up with SeaMonkey and later on Mozilla, you know, it, it's dead now, you know. And if you haven't got Internet Explorer 7 and you use Internet Explorer 7, I suggest you get it. I don't know. Don't waste your time, you know, you get you get better, you get better speeds, better, you know, you get, you're better, you get more tab options, all that stuff. And I suggest you use it if, you ha if you're an Internet Explorer user, and I'm just one because uh, I'm, I like the theme, it came out with a nice layout, or a nice theme for Internet Explorer. I'm more into the looks, and I don't want to have to download my theme like Firefox, but you know, Firefox is still greater, it's probably one of the best, it's probably soon going to be the best unless Microsoft does something. Beta's already came out, Beta Part 3 came out for, uh, Firefox, and that version looks like it's going to be good, they're basing it on their security updates, like uh, yes, speeds, and other add-ons that they can fix on the patches, rather than you have to hack the directory of uh, the uh, Firefox text and change it to version 3 if you want to add add-ons that you really needed for Firefox back then it's not you know good uh, customizable uh, not compatible with the version now but um, Opera there's not I don't know I've ever heard on updates for that but two big main ones Internet Explorer 8 is supposed to come out they said it within the years and uh, it's been a year or two almost now on Internet Explorer 7 and you know we haven't yet seen the beta version of it but we'll have to see what they came out with they have to focus on uh, more customability yeah, sorry about that customability customizable blah, stuff for Internet Explorer give us more freedom give us more settings give us more you know toolbars all that stuff you gotta come up with something new that hasn't been come up uh, hasn't been you know yet used for the Firefox you know get something that will pe people will want to use Internet Explorer you know, if you want to draw the attention and we'll just have to see how Internet Explorer 8 deals out and along with the actual Firefox 3 version it's gonna be a great uh, you know great competition to see which one gets better and so, well the other brow browsers Avant and all that stuff see what how they do and I'm still looking I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Opera's gonna do something you know they're gonna add more stuff and there, if you, Opera is really great if you have small space or you just want to clear up a lot of space by deleting Firefox or Internet Explorer. Occasionally, it's Internet Explorer that will clear up a lot of space. And I'll keep you updated on the updates, and I'll get back to you on uh, filters, add-ons, all that stuff for the others. And even up when the versions come out, I'll talk about what I like and what I dislike about each version. That's all for now. But uh, just a little overview of the. Uh, browsers. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my videos if you like them. Please comment right. Otherwise, thanks for watching.